Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the AS Kitadella Kayimut. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And yeah, it finally starts. And in today's episode I want to present you the team. But first of all, before I start with that, in case you are new, I uploaded a video around a week ago, on my last Monday I think, uh, the thumbnail says vote, the, the title is something like, let's talk about the third Kayimut. If you're new, it's a, like a 15-6 minute video. I talk about a lot and explain a lot there what's happening. So if you are confused a bit maybe, then go back and watch it. For, buddy, uh, for everybody else, uh, of course you know this is going to be a water clue with just youth players and regions from a certain region. I gave you the vote, you had three options and this is the result as you can see. It's quite, uh, um, yeah, quite clearly um, to see what you want. You want the European option, so I already scouted just three nations. Greece, Turkey and Romania. Um, I'm happy with that, it, it, it would have been my second choice, of course, as I told you, Asian, the Asian uh, option would have been my favorite, but you decided that you want the European option and nobody of you actually wanted the Asian option. So yeah, as you can see, I've gone through one season, so one season was indeed enough, and in today's episode, I don't really want to do it too much, I really just want to take the time, hopefully under 20 minutes, to just present you the team, so you can, because I really want you to take part in this series, I want you to talk, um, tell me who I should train, who I should um, as, uh, play or whatever, because there are so many players who I could train and so many players who I, can, um, I could play. First of all, as you can see, my rating is pretty low. To be honest, actually, I got by a huge distance last place in the last season, but uh, they still didn't fire me. So I'm, I didn't even have to play one game. I could simulate for all of them. I think I won like three games in the whole season out of 42 games but hey they didn't fire me even though I got last by a huge difference, uh, distance because um, they don't even care about domestic um, uh, success at all it's very low so right now the first of all I will start with the goals this was my goal medium so I didn't I couldn't really do it but I will do it of course at least one player from my youth academy I had to sign up and use now in the second season at least 50% of the game I will use they are 61, I will use like 20 of them in at least 25% of the game, uh, at least 50% of the game, so it's quite easy to do that. I am um, this is, you will just do this, you can't even not do it. Even though if, if you get last lose every game, I did it quite easily, so it's really not too difficult. There's no goal here. These are not too important and it's very low, so the only one we really have to look at is this one, which also should not be a problem. So even though we are doing nothing, basically, you can't get fired from this club. Last time I did one of, out of two from this one, which were high. The medium one I couldn't do and everything else I did not do. So I basically just did one out of two from the medium and everything else I didn't do. And I still did not get fired, you can't get fired here. So I had my time to scout the countries um, with um, the following scouts. This is the thing I will actually show you as well. Four star Fisa scout in, um, this is Greece. Three star Fisa in Turkey, who is? A Turkish dude so it's perfect I think that uh, gives you a bit of a bony or something he's better if you sound, uh, send somebody who is from Turkey to Turkey and another Italian coach for star Fiesta escort to Romania um, the crease and Turkey scout came uh, always come back on the first of a month the other two uh, the other one the um, who is scouting Romania is coming back on the third I was not able to do it because at that point I had no not the money to sign three but just two so I had to wait a few days and yeah, this is basically it. Well, um, let's go to the squad. My first choice squad right now has a, I will start with the back. 64 weighted goalkeeper. I'm trying to train everybody to a 60 weighting. I trained him to a 60 weighting quickly. And I then stopped training him. He himself in the last season gone up four times. So he has some amazing potential with some alright stats. Of course he's just 64 weighted but he is extremely tall, has some am amazing potential, is growing very fast. So we're very happy about this dude. We also have another Greek goalkeeper, Christandakos. Yeah, just Christakos, so I'm uh, wrong with that. Christakos. Uh, I'm not sure. I just wanted a backup goalkeeper. So both goalkeepers are Greek. Um, we still have a lot of players. They're all on my short list, uh, transfer list, but I was not able to sell them. I, in the first transfer window, I, want, uh, had, I was just able to put six players on the transfer list because all the other players recently joined uh, and saw two of them. And then last time, I, oh, I think I put 22 or 23 players on the short, uh, transfer list and just was able to, I think, sell four. So I still have all of them on the transfer list and hope that I can get the money. 
but uh, yeah, I have to wait right now. So only two goalkeepers right now, which is okay, I would say. We have a white back. The most difficult thing was to find a white back sentiment. Everything else, I was able to do really fast. Just in the last like two or three months, I was able to find, find scout, uh, right and left backs or wing backs. We have one white back who's from Romania, 17 years old, very tall. Low high work rates is not really what I want. Four star weak foot, um, so could be on the left. Very slow. Basically, he's shit. He is completely shit. On the left, we have Georgiadas. Uh, uh, the names, I will, I will need some time. Georgiadis. Okay, what the fuck. Also, low medium. Another thing I don't like, he's very tall as well and also quite bad. So, uh, that's the big problem we have. We don't have good wing backs. Mafras um, is the best center back we have. He has medium high work rates, is not really tall though, but has some old white pace for sure and some decent defending, but he is not really decent. Next to him is another quick pl um, player, so actually, uh, out of the four center back, uh, four defenders as well as the goalkeepers, most of them are quick, which isn't a surprise because the best defenders are coming from Greece out of the three nations. I expect the most midfielders to come from Romania and Turkey and the most strikers to come from Turkey. Uh, Kiriaku, not the most amazing guy ever, but he's also not bad and a bit taller. Uh, we don't really have anybody else, so you can see we have four defenders in the whole squad. We have a lot of other players, but that's it for the defenders already. Our ZDM, uh, ZDM is also a quick dude, um, so the defenders are always quick. Very bad stamina, decent stats, curve is decent, I'm not sure why. Um, he's growing quite fast, medium, medium work rates, nothing too special. As backup we have, um, where is he? Uh, Lampros as a CDM, who I think yeah, is also quick and also not too amazing. So he is by far the highest rated player, I don't think we have, yeah we have another one who's from Romania actually, but yeah, he is just completely shit, just an up because, why not? Um, so yeah, also not too amazing, the sentiment position, definitely our base position, we have a 64 rated um, for, um, sentiment from I think, or came from Turkey actually, I thought Romania, with decent pace, stamina strength, everything is completely shit, but has some decent pace, agility balance, Bonkner dribbling curve, he probably quality wise is the best player we have right now in the squad. Kaplan and he is going quite fastly when I signed up was just a few months ago, two or three. And he had a 62 rating, so he basically gone up I think two times in either um, two months or three months. But of course next to him is a quick um, one, one of the first players I signed up who is also growing himself a lot. I moved him to 60, he gone up twice himself afterwards. With decent stats but nothing too special, medium, low, yeah so again nothing too great. We have Kostin as backup, I just signed him up actually because I have never seen an out, uh, outfield player, so a player who is not in goal, having this head. So I really want to play with him once, even if he's shit and he is shit. I just want to play with him once to see how that looks. Low high, he is completely shit to be honest. This dude, I just like, like his face from a mania left footed. Um, they are nothing too special to be honest, nobody of them is too special. Most of them are just like 60 to a bit under 60 rated. And yeah, we have a 52 weighted player. I don't even have to show you the stats, they are all shit to be honest, but here, yeah, just in case you care, these are his stats. And Manole, also from Romania, yes, um, same thing, here are the stats if you really care. So, sentiment position, in my opinion, the best ones, because the two sentiments are decent, and we have one, two, or white backups at least, but hmm. Selig is um, probably the most interesting player for the future, somebody who could, with Panagulias, uh, be in the squad for a very long time because he's very high rated and had the potential of, I think, when I signed him up, like 82 to 93 or something. So he has a decent potential, is growing himself, I never trained him. Um, decent, nah, not really great stats to be honest, medium low, he is a shit player, but he can grow fast, so hopefully he will. On the right we have another Turkish player um, who has a wide pace at least. Bogen and tripling, but is also quite shit. Can play everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure. Up front we have Carlis, who is actually just shit. He has nothing. I mean, 50 finishing as well. High low work rates though. So his work rates, his height, and his positions and stuff is decent, but he's a shit player. As backups we have uh, Stefano Bolos, what a name, who is yeah same. Not really great to be honest. One star weak foot as well. We have Kiriaku, who has an amazing potential, but I don't see why, to be honest. So he is completely shit. Look at the stats, he is just shit. But he has one of the best, I think even the third or fourth best potential. Also with something like 82 to 93 or something, so not sure why. Antes is another left winger, who I actually think, mm, I'm not sure. He has the only one with a right 
at least uh, physical stats because he has pace, agility, balance and a low white stamina at least. But everything else is shit. And uh, yeah, Varda Castanis um, with nice physical stats, um, and, uh, um, weak foot and skill moves. But yeah, decent pace but it's also shit. And the other place I will just show you the same as always, just very quick if you care about the stats because they are not too important. And then uh, Xenaxis. First time I think I saw a player with um, who is not from um, China, who, um, which name starts with an X. So I think that's the first time. That's it. Um, you saw all the players. We have two goalkeepers. We have just four. Uh, we have just two center backs as well. Just one right back and one left back. So that's where we definitely need new players. We have three CDMs. Was just one of them is kind of decent. We have two very decent center mids as well as two kind of decent backups and some other center mids. We have uh, some old white um, wingers and not really a decent backup. I, I don't know if I show you, but too, I don't think I show you this dude, so I told you. Most wingers and strikers will be from Turkey, most midfielders from Turkey and Romania, and most defenders will all be from Greeks, uh, Greece, because this is at least the most realistic thing. And we don't really have a decent striker. So the team isn't really decent. I will play all games, I can uh, tell you that. So we have to hope that nobody from the, um, uh, from the defense is getting injured. It will not be easy because most of the players have no pace, the strikers can't score, the defenders can't really defend, these wingbacks are completely shit, so it's not gonna be too easy to play with them, but hey, this is the main idea, I don't even have a second choice squad because in a lot of positions I don't really have a backup yet. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be extremely challenging, at least in the first season, to play with this squad. On the other side, of course, we can improve them very quickly. It's up to you, who am I supposed to train? Right now, I'm not training anybody, so I will start... Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, how much I will do in this um, episode. I recorded around like 12 minutes now, I think, so the video should be around that length, so... Um, uh, that's okay, I can um, take a few more minutes, but I won't do anything, I just want to present you the squad. And the last thing I will present you with fast is um, the Youth Academy. We still have a lot of players in the Youth Academy. We have a setter back actually who has a decent potential, so I will actually give him, uh, offer him a contract because um, he is, he, I mean, he is 49 weighted with, look at this, but he has decent potential, decent physical sets, and I just need anybody. And 49 isn't too bad actually for our squad because our squad exists of, I guess, an average rating of the players I use of like, 55, 54. Uh, we have a CDM with also an amazing potential, who is 15, but a 45 overall, so again, a very shit to be honest, but um, yeah, because he has passing and stuff, but has no defending whatsoever. We have another CDM, 16, very low rated, but also maybe with decent potential. We have a Cam, who is 41 rated, so the worst player I've ever seen Bobber play. So I think I will actually just, because he's also already 17, um, release him. But as long as he has a decent potential, I will not do. We have a white right midfielder, Idis Aslan, another Turkish player. Um, 55, uh, 4 rated, it's not too bad. Has some okay stats, potential, what's, I'm not sure. It's a big range. Goalkeeper, 15, bad rated. We don't really need a goalkeeper. We have a right back, actually, another one, but he is just shit. His potential shit, his overall is shit. So I really don't want to sign him up. I hope that I get another one. But if not, then whenever the season starts, I have to sign up because I need a right back backup. Emo is just 15, so hmm. A left winger, 53 rated is okay. Potential is decent from Romania. We have um, two center mids, 18 and 16. Both are want the same weighted, both are want the same potential. Um, this dude has a bit better potential, this dude is a bit better weighted, but he is two years younger. Uh, they, he has decent physical stats. And Menel stats better for sure, but he has better passing and stuff. Um, we have another goalkeeper. I don't really think I have to talk about him too much. We have another right winger from Greece, but he's really very much shit. Xenomet uh, with decent potential, but 48 rated. We have uh, 54 rated. This dude is nothing basically. We just the good thing is we know this potential is at least 75, and he has a decent um, but, um, rating actually. So I could sign him up, but hmm, and. Two spikers who both us are quite shit as well. This dude may be decent, but he's 18. So in total, the whole squad, we can see goalkeepers isn't a big problem because we don't really need them. Center mid is really not a problem. We have so many players in that. So the problem is we don't really have that. We have a decent amount of kinda decent wingers. We have a 
we have at least one, two kind of decent CDM. So a decent CDM and a decent backup, but nothing really a great to be honest. The same is for the center back position. We have two, uh, one good center back, one decent one, I guess, and a decent backup, but that's it already. The big problem we have is the wing back backups because we have two, uh, two bad wing backs and not they are my first choice because I don't have anybody else. And the striker, I have no, not even one decent striker. Well, I think that's basically all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you that um, we, I'm still here. I managed to not get fired. I'm not sure how the season starts. I will show you that in the end. Um, I showed you the full squad. It's up to you. Um, I will play every single game, no exception. I will play every game. And um, maybe in some point I will simulate cup games. But right now I will play every game. I can tell you that. OBG, um, not that's too important, but it's um, 2.5 million pounds as well as 10k per week. We are trying to sell everybody we are not using, so we can I can show you we still have 3, wait, uh, 6, 9, 11 players on the Tansel list and a few ones who might join. Or are they just players from us? No, they, we have a few ones who, who are joining. For example, this dude is joining. And there we are a few other ones. I will do that off, um, uh, without recording because I don't think it makes sense to do that. But we have a few players who are actually worth something, like here 1,800,000, 325, 250, 700,000. So we could get 2, 3 million for sure, 4, 5 million if you can sell, or 3, 4 million I think in total if you can sell them players. The question is, can we do that? Yeah, um, I will just save the money. Right now I don't have to spend it. I will just save it until, uh, probably until the end of the season. And I will only use the money to give them players new contracts, probably because they're growing, so I have to give them more money in some point, more uh, higher wages, and to buy better scouts in some point. Because right now we have four star, three star, three star, three star, and four star, three star. Of course, I want to get five star, five star scouts as quickly as possible. The goal, my goal in the first half of the season is basically just to survive, not get relegated, get a decent position, not get fired, and to improve the players. That's all basically. It's up to you now. You can really take part in the series much more than other series where you can just tell me probably what formation or who to buy. Here you can really tell me, um, not really who to buy because we're not going to sign somebody. I will of course always have a look if I can find regions and then I might ask you if it makes sense to go for him. But you can really tell me who should I train, that's the most important thing. Who should I maybe just release? Who should I go for my youth squad? I will always um, make uh, reports of that, so this is gonna. T I, n I can save a lot of time because I don't have, I have to talk about trances. Uh, maybe also, I will just go through the full transfer and just in the end tell you who I basically sold. But I will use time to really talk about the youth academy, who we scouted, who should I sc sign up, who makes sense. And that's basically the main idea behind the series. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until uh, in front of the next episode, before I record the next episode. I will just um, uh, uh, refresh the Tanzer list to make sure everybody is on the Tanzer list. I will really quick scout um, to f see if there's any kind of region or creative player who is from these three nations in the free agent or somewhere else. To, I can scout them or give them a contract. And yeah, that's basically all I will do next episode. I think it's up to more, so I think I will continue with this series. I don't think it makes sense to now make this first episode show you what happened and then go somewhere else. So next episode straight out tomorrow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please smash the like button. I hope you look forward to this series. You can really take part much more than in any other series. You can really tell me everything. And this is a series for us together. So I really hope that you take part as much as possible. And I hope you're looking forward to that. If so, please smash the like button. I will see you tomorrow with episode two. Maybe start playing games where I will hopefully sell a few players and maybe sign up new players, get some decent results in training. You can tell me one, the most important question I wanted to tell you, I almost forgot, um, the last thing I want to ask you is the training. Do you want me to show you every training, because probably in every training somebody is going up, or do you just want to make uh, let me make squad reports in the end? You can, of course, before games, I will, you will see the squad or ever see something, you can see that rating changed probably. The question is basically, do you want me to show you every training um, or do you not want me to do that, but just make big squad reports? And do you want me to make a um, single episode so I just make a squad report? How do you want me to make this basically? This is the main question I have for you. Um, yeah. 
before the next episode. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Really looking forward to this series. I hope you're doing too. And that's it for this episode. Have an amazing day, guys. And bye.